You heard it right, Defects. Welcome to another episode of Cover Chasing. Cover Chasing. Very excited to be here. Back at it again. I don't know what's going on. I, don't, I think we lost Matt. I think Matt's... Matt, uh, you know what, Jay? Have you seen Matt? I haven't seen Matt, but... We do have a special guest today that Ooh. fits right in with this channel. Who is it? It's the know. notorious, the infamous Kingdom Comics. Ooh. <laughs> Look at what this guy. is up, brother? And welcome to Cover Chasing. Guys, if you don't know Kingdom, follow him on Instagram. This is a guy that has tons of comic knowledge in the community. Old school collector that knows his shit. Kingdom, say what's up, brother. What up? Thank you, thank you. Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here. I appreciate right. it. Um, hopefully, you guys don't get a whole lot of dislikes, I'm just saying, you know. We're used to it, bro. We get that thumbs down all the time. Trust me, it ain't nothing new here. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. So we Very, know. So so Kingdom okay. follows the channel, and he loves the cover chasing. He hit me up about the cover chasing, so I hit him up. I'm like, "Yo, come on, dude! You have a ton of knowledge." And he bought five books today, guys. Jay, you want to tell him about our sponsors before we get started? Sure, guys. First up, we got Erod Two One Two with Express Comic Book Pressing for all your pressing and cleaning needs. Defects 10 gets you 10% off. Not only that, Erod's nice enough to pass along his discount from CGC and CBCS, so tell him the Defects sent you. Then we got the notorious, everybody's favorite, Beaver, Mutant Beaver Comics, one of the world's largest online retailers for exclusive comic books. Defects 10 gets you 10% off. They ship worldwide. Tell Pat and the B-Man the Defects sent you. And in honor of Maddie Forge, let's get into them books. First up, we got Batman number 90. This is from Jay. This is Jay's pick from DC Comics. Jay, back in 2020, tell us a little bit about this book and that beautiful cover by Francesco Mattina. Yeah, guys, so it's that Tinian run, the first full appearance of designer in this issue. This is back when I was reading the Tinian run of Batman. I have since fell off from it, but have to get back on it. The cover, that Riddler cover, absolutely fantastic. It's a Matina cover. We know Matina caught some heat like a year ago for copying other artists' art. This, though, this cover pops, man. The reason I picked it is Batman came out this week. I heard it's phenomenal. I can't wait to see it. I don't know about the Riddler. He kind of looks like the dad from People Under the Stairs. This is more This is more my pace Riddler right here. And he just knocked this cover out of the park, man. It looks dope, dope cardstock cover. That's awesome, Jay. You give us a little bit of info on this book, on like... Uh... The last selling of it and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a it's a cheap book, man. You could you could pick this up. You could probably still pick this up in your local LCS for like five six bucks. A cover if cover price was five bucks, so you could still find it for like five bucks. Designer's not that big of a character that his first appearance makes a big difference. Even like a CGC is probably like in a nine eight is probably like fifty sixty dollars. So a definitely <laughs> affordable book, but beautiful. We're here on cover chase, and so I had to pick you know. Fire cover. That's a fire Riddler cover, man. That's 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 the Riddler in my head. When I picture the Riddler, this is what I picture. And do you have this book, Jay? I do. I do have this book. Yep, nice. I have this book. Very good. Very good. I like it. What do you think, brother man? You know that thing is sexy. Look, when when Matina is on, that dude is on. He's unstoppable. Uh, it's unfortunate for what happened in the past, but hey, it's in the past. Let's move yep. on. I'm sure we'll come out with some fire covers. But like I said, he, when that dude is on, that dude is on. Yeah, that's a, that's a dope cover. That's a great pick. That's a great pick, Jay. Let's roll right into your second pick for this week. Whew. Marvel preview number 12, obviously from Marvel Comics, guys. Uh, this is all the way back in before I even got here, 1977. 
and you got that that art by Earl Norum. Jay, give us a little info. Yeah, like Guy said, Marvel preview number 12, The Haunt of Horror. Um, if you don't know who that character is, it's Dracula's daughter, Lilith Drake. Um, I wanted to go to a little horror, something that, you know, The Riddler was a little, is a modern book that came out last year. This is a little more vintage, 1977. It came out October 77, so it's that Halloween-esque cover. Um, Earl Norman knocked it out of the park. You could tell it's almost like one of those Vampirella paintings, but I personally think better. Um, even the Grim Reaper in the top left-hand corner, man, it, it, it looks crazy. It says it right there, the Lilith, the daughter of Dracula. We got that old-school vampire castle we got the vampire bats in there her cape flowing her you know everything's hanging out looking good so this is why i picked this not only that but we know marvel's headed we got blade coming to marvel maybe we get a little taste of dracula hopefully we get a little taste of lilith you'd, and you'd it, love man. a little taste of lilith oh i love a <laughs> lot of taste of lilith so you know awesome awesome vintage you know, Marvel preview. All those Marvel preview books are dope covers like this, man. Awesome paintings. So I want to do something a little more horror art, and that's why I picked it. Bring in the horror. Thanks a lot. And a little birdie told me that Lilith is rumored for the MCU. So, hey, and we'll see. you never know. Look at this. Look at this. Why not? Obviously, we know that Batman's coming. So Batman number 399. Obviously from DC Comics. I'll tell you these guys, you know this. Uh, this is from 1986, an art by Mandrake and Tolan. What do we got here, Bo? Well, just coming off that Lily Horror theme, I guess we're going to the brutal gory <laughs> theme now. So, right, I picked this one because uh it, it, it's actually a pretty cool cover that you really don't see in the Batman title, in the mainland, uh mainline Batman title. Now, Tom Drake, if you're not familiar with Tom Drake, he also uh, co-created uh, Black Mask with uh, the writer of this book, uh, Doug Mench. Correct me, Doug Mench? Doug Mench, right? yeah. So, uh, anyways, I picked this because it's actually a story-driven cover. Um, if you read the interior, you'll understand this cover. But not only that, it is one of the very few type uh Batman titles that actually has a decapitated head on the cover along with zero uh, protagonists or antagonists. There's no heroes or villains on the cover. And plus, I mean, you can't go wrong with the decapitated head cover. That's gorgeous. Yeah, why not, why not scare this shit out of me with your first book? So thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> It's just, yeah, you, you, I, fell, you fell right into you, you get with these guys that do it to me all the time. So thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming. We'll see you later. All right. <laughs> now, nah, here's a, that's a, that's, it's a crazy pick. I've never seen this book. Um, do you, do you have this book? Yes. Um, I, I actually have the both versions. I have the direct and the, uh, uh, newsstand. So nice. yeah, I, I absolutely love this book. It's, just a badass cover that you just don't see on Batman. And are these easy to find or are they a little hard to find? Uh, they're pretty easy. I mean, I'm sure that you can find them at your local stores, cons. Uh, it's it's really not that expensive book. You can find them in the bins. Yeah, like Matty Forge says, the things nightmares are made of. So I, I won't be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> Jay, what do you think about this book, Jay? I love it, man. Like he said, you don't see... You would. You, you, it's just a decapitated head with the axe there. I love the bat signal in the background in Gotham City. It's it's a dope cover, man. This is something I didn't know about, so I appreciate you telling us about. And something I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for. And once I get it, you know you're getting that tag, Kingdom. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, it's, it's kind of has that EC vibe, uh, but yeah, it's a pretty dope cover. It has that All like right. chamber of three. Uh, chills that you know that old school horror pre-code feel to it so definitely feeling that cover well I, I'll, I'll tell you I, I i'm happy that you picked something congratulations um i'm gonna move on <laughs> and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move on to a cover that i'm happy that you picked so the next book is Catwoman number Woo! four, and I will take this book and I will take it into the bathroom and I will see you in about 20 minutes. 
Um, from DC Comics, guys, it's about from 2018. It's Art Germ. But there's some information about this book, and I'm I'm glad I'm glad we got him to, to talk about it. So, Kingdom, give us give us a little background on this book. Right. So the cover's by Stanley Art Germ now. Uh, what's cool about this cover, well, let's not even go into that yet. This book is just phenomenal to me. It's it's beautiful, it's sultry. I mean, the colors on it is just outstanding. I'm not trying to sell this book. It's just a badass book. And this is one of the very few books I do have uh, multiple copies because it's just a bad book. But what's cool about this, and truth be told, when I got uh, Art Drum to sign it, he asked me if I noticed anything on this cover. I was like, other than it's beautiful? He was like, no, there's, there's some detail in this cover that you might want to take a closer look at. And I was like, oh, really? And what, I don't know if everybody knows, but there's actually some Easter eggs in this cover. There's four of them. I've managed to find three. So if you can find the fourth one, man, all power to you, let me know. And it's probably going to be right in my face. And I'm like, dang, I've been, I've been passing that. But it's, it's a really, really nice cover. What a and what a, a awesome, what an awesome pick, man! I mean, this is I've not ne- I have never seen this cover, and I know the defects are going to get excited and put stuff in the comments. If someone knows that fourth hidden Easter egg, obviously you can list all all. I mean, I mean you're going to list all three of them, but maybe Kingdom will tell us the three, or you want to keep it a secret. I mean, you want to tell it? You give us a little hint on them. Um, nah. Let y'all figure it out. <laughs> Put it in the comments, guys. Let's see if you I, guys can find I, them. I, I found three as well. I, fa- I found yep. the same three as Kingdom. So let's see if you could find the fourth. Staring at it now, I think I did find the fourth. We'll talk about it once Ooh. we wrap up the show. I can't wait. Now, th- so this cover is actually a cover B. It's not a ratio. It's a variant. It's a cover B, one one So you should be able to find it in the back bins. I mean. It's not that of an expensive book. It's, it's just a really nice cover. I'm going to start off with a crazy book because I'm excited about this. I saw this book a long time ago, and I've been chasing this. Talk about ch- cover chasing. You know, look, I mean, it's it's written on the cover, man. It's Italy, Italy Comics. Um, it's an exclusive. This is, this is crazy. This is Spider-Man 2, number one, from Marvel, uh, from back in 2017. Gabriel Delato. Okay. You can't go wrong with Delato. That's my opinion. Some people like him. Some people don't. I think the majority of people do. Um, I do not have this book, obviously. Uh, this is something I've been, I've been looking high and low for searching, searching the World Wide web for, um, talking to some people because I knew a couple people that did have it. And, you know, listen, I'm always up for for a trade because I don't think I have the shuttle to, to pay for this thing. Um, <laughs> but last, last raw copy sold for around $250 and the last nine, eight of this B variant, um, last January sold for like $325. Um, it's, it's more expensive now and it's crazy. And it's, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say things are unreachable. It just, I don't want to spend the money on it, but who knows, but it's a gorgeous book. I love it. I need this in my life. So if anybody has it, you know, I mean, give me a little shout. What do you guys think? That thing, I mean, first it's Delato, so that that's just a check in my box, and that thing is just pure sexiness right there. Now you said Italy comics. Is that something local? Is that stateside or is that overseas? I I, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. I know Listen, there was only 1500 copies of these. They were hand numbered on the back and oh, there's wow. three variants. There's three variants that are out there. They all look a little the same, a little bit different. Um, I don't know Italy comics. I mean, someone can write that in the comments where it is. Obviously my research is terrible. Maybe the eye in the sky will tell me, um, the little birdie always does his research. So I'll find out in a couple of minutes. Probably. Let me explain Delato. I mean, Paisan. If you're watching the defects, I mean, can you send me a copy or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They're from they're from Italy. Italian variant shop. A little birdie just told me. So there you go. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. 
Love me some Delato. Send me, send me a copy, baby. <laughs> My last pick, guys. Old school. I mean, this, I'm, I'm going old school with this one. This is just classic. Obviously, we all were excited about the Batman this week, I think. This one just jumped out of me. I didn't even realize that we all just picked Batman books until now. Like, But you know what? Who cares? Batman 251. I think subconsciously we're all excited about the movie. Obviously from DC Comics, guys. All the way back in 1973. Classic, classic Neil Adams. I mean, any guys, anything wrong with this cover at all? Nah, Neil Adams is a legend. Uh, depending when you see him, you could take him or leave him. I'm sure if you've had your experiences with Adam's Kingdom being in the game for so long. Sometimes he could be a best friend. Sometimes he just manhandles your books on a signature. But this is probably his one of his most famous pieces, guy. Oh, again, awesome, awesome Joker cover. One of the most iconic Batman covers there are. Great pick, dude. I know it's an ex- you. You're picking expensive books today. I just I got excited about a couple of books. I mean, last raw copy, um, two hundred around two hundred fifty dollars. I think sold today. People are getting other people are getting excited about the Batman movie too. Um, and the last graded sale I think was like a six five sold for like four hundred and sixty something dollars. So, I mean, they're not they're not cheap. But you know what? There's stuff that like I don't have this book either. So, you know, maybe maybe I'll run into it one day. Kingdom, you Kingdom got this thing. book? Yeah, I got this book. Yeah, I figured that. I figured it's a dope, that much. It's a dope book, man. You know, uh, just a quick story about Neil Adams. I've actually worked with Neil Adams. and I've, Me, personally, I've never had a bad run-in. He's always been pretty legit. But uh, he gets tired of signing this book. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, <that's... laughs> I, I can see that. I can see that. Such an iconic, iconic, iconic cover. I mean, like you said, it's that, uh, Neil Adams at its greatest. You think we're, you think we're going to get another Joker? Yes. You heard it there, folks. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, bro. I think so too. But I don't think, you know, yeah. I don't think it'll come soon, but we'll get another one. Defects. Hope you enjoyed another episode of Cover Chasing. Hope you enjoyed the wealth of knowledge my buddy Kingdom brought to the table today. His link for his IG is going to be in the description uh, below. Give this man a follow because, like I said, he got a lot of knowledge right here. Thank you so much for coming on, brother, and being a part of the show. We appreciate it. Guy, tell them what we got coming up. Listen, before you head out, guys, I mean, just do yourself a favor and put a comment in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up and everything, too. But we have our 7,500 subscriber giveaway. We're on the push. All you got to do is leave a comment in any of our videos because then you got a chance to win. We're going to have a big show. We're going to have a party. We're going to have some fun. We're going to give away a bunch of shit. So you want to win something? Put a comment in. We're randomly picking comments like this out of the air. Randomly picking them. And those will be the winners. So, for the pressable defects and wherever Matty forges, we'll see you on the next cover, Jason. <laughs>